Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel, Minus Transformation by Celeste. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to properly blend your eyeshadow and make it look professional. You ready? Let's get into it. Okay, so all you need is your brush, your blending brush, and your eyeshadow palette. Now, you can start off with a little bit of brown on the outside, or you can do black. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of black. I'm going to mix black and brown together. And I'm going to apply it here. So <clears throat> you're just going to blend just a little bit on the outer side, and then you can work your way up. You can do halfway. You can measure how much. You some people go all the way here, and then they'll put the color on top. But you can do halfway. that's it and then if you have hoodie eyes remember I always start like towards the end so it's an inch off so you can just start about right there and and just blend it since I have bigger eyes I have to do it a little bit wider but since you have smaller eyes you, you do less <clears throat> and then now I'm going to use a color blue because I'm going to be doing um, from this model here and I want to achieve that look so I'm going to do a little bit of blue I think that model had like a darker blue. Let me see, do this one have a darker blue? I guess it does. So I'm going to use this one. This one's called Horse. And this is my old eyeshadow palette. So this kind of reminds me of a sapphire blue color. And I'm just going to blend it out so you guys can see it. This is a pretty blue, and don't go so much hard. You can just pat around, like when you get towards the top here, just go like that and just pat it because you don't want to do too much and it be too, you know, looking bold. Not bold, but it kind of look funny. So you want it to look as natural as possible. So that's it with that. And then I'm going to go back in my rainbow eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use this color white. And I'm going to apply that in the inner corner like the model in the picture. So you can just apply a little bit. Or you can, you guys can leave it like how, how it is and just apply an eyeliner. So I'm just going to carefully apply some here. And I'm going to do one more thing. Use an angle brush because it's small. That's the wrong one. And you're going to apply the black underneath your eyes. I'm going to use a little bit of that. And I'm just going to go like this. And kind of wing it out some. And then you have it. That is how you can blend your eyeshadow. And the f the last thing you would need is your favorite concealer. You're going to apply it here. This is going to make it mostly a clean cut and natural looking. So you have your, your darker that's close to your skin color. And then you have your light one as well. And I'm going to apply it here. And that's it. And I'll be right back. And I'm going to do the other side. So I'm going to show you guys um, the same technique again. So if you didn't see it on that side, you can see it more. So you're just going to take your brush and you're going to easily, slowly blend. Blend the color on the outer side. Okay. See how I did it? Look how easy that looks. I used to have a hard time doing this. I just kept practicing until I got it right. 
looking on YouTube. Well, I couldn't really understand on YouTube because they go in too much depth and then they take so long to get to the point. That was back then, you know, you couldn't really fast forward because you'd be scared to miss. But, um, <laughs> but it was really good. So I learned. And this is the blue, which I'm going to call sapphire blue. And I'm just going to take it and just blend it. I'm not going to dip no more eyeshadow in this blue. I'm just going to keep using it. I'm just going to do it like that. And after you blend that blue, get this white here and you can just blend it right there in the inner corner. And that's it. It is very simple. And then you just put some here at the bottom. And you guys can add a little shimmer. You can do a little glitter if you want to. And I'm going to go ahead and use some concealer. Oh, wait. I forgot. We got to do our technique with the black. Just take your angle brush and go under your eye so if you don't have like a liquid liner you can just use your eyeshadow palette and just use the angle brush which I feel it be it look better sometime and then you just connect it it's like a little triangle that's it and now all we gotta do is put some concealer underneath our eyes and we are set to go we just have to blend Now, all we have to do is blend out the colors. <clears throat> We're going to start on this side since the color we, we applied the concealer on this side first. So this is just like a glamorous makeup look. You know if that you want to achieve. And let's see. I'm going to blend this side as well. And I'm going to re-blend again. It was a little bit too light. So I put a little bit of dark. So when you do make an arrow with your foundation too, put a darker color on top. I can still probably too much. So I might have to go back and wipe some off. Yeah. Hold on. I might have to wipe some of this off. Okay, so I... I removed some of that off but it's just anyway it's just for fun so I hope you guys enjoyed the makeup tutorial I how I blend the colors um, hold on you can also take a brush and you can also blend it like that as well a clean brush and just go back and forth. That's it. And this is how you achieve the color. All you need is the black uh, eyeshadow and a darker blue. And then you need a little bit of white and that's it. And you can outline, draw your wing liner and do your concealer to lift your eyes. So. I hope you guys did enjoy my content. I'm so sorry if I made my foundation a little light. I did remove some of it off. It's this concealer here. It looks dark. But I guess certain time of the year, it blends in with my skin and then it don't. So, But thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys in my next content. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let's get up to 11,000 subscribers. Bye.